In this video we'll show you some of the uh, line drawing options within Partmaster CAD. So I've started the CAD system from the desktop, so I'll start a new drawing. So when we choose line, then the vertical toolbar here shows us the different options of how we've got to draw a line. So a normal line here needs firstly a start point and then subsequent endpoints. We can use the snap mode at the bottom of the screen here to control how the next line is placed onto the drawing relative to existing <coughs> um, elements. As well as being able to draw lines in a chain mode then we can draw lines at a particular angle. So to draw the line at a particular angle we simply choose that and then the line can be drawn at the current angle. To change the current angle we go to properties, set the angle of the line and then again we can choose the snap mode to snap the line onto an existing element. For instance if we want to go through the center point. So the angled line will draw a line right the way across the screen at the current angle. The next option down will draw the line at the current angle tangent to a circle. So let's first of all draw a couple of circles. And then we'll go back to line and we'll have line at a tangent. So this will draw a line to wherever the cursor happens to be at a tangent to the circle. But what we often want of course is to draw the line at a particular angle. So to do that we use the next one down and now we can draw the line at the current angle tangent to any side of a circle or an arc. If we change the angle then we can draw the line so. Okay. The next one down draws a line between two tangent points. What I'll do first of all is I'll just undo some of those lines that I've created. Okay, so this one here is a line tangent to two arcs or two circles. So we simply choose the side of the circle or the arc and the line is drawn tangent to that. So that's okay. What we might also want to do is to draw the line from a particular point to a tangent. So to do that, we select near snap and hold down the shift key. And now the system is searching for a point rather than a circle. So if we want to draw a line from the end point of that line, I let go of the shift key and then draw the line tangent to that circle. Or we could hold down the shift key again and go from the center of that circle to the center of the other circle holding down the shift key. So when you hold down the shift key it's searching for points rather than lines. So if we want to search for a point we hold down the shift key. If we want it to find an arc or a circle then we let go of the shift key and it finds the arc or circle. The next option down is to draw a line which is parallel to an existing one. So if I want a line parallel to this one, I click, give it a distance and then tell it the direction. If I choose that one again and set the direction to the right, now obviously right on a horizontal line has no meaning so I get an error message which says the direction is ambiguous. So if you get that you know that you've set the direction wrongly. Drawing a perpendicular line, the help at the bottom asks me to click on the line to which the new line is perpendicular and then the line is drawn perpendicular to that line and it's obeying the snap mode, in this case near snap, so it's drawing a line perpendicular to the one I indicated passing through the point that I indicate. If I do that one again, in this case 
I could snap onto the center point. So whenever I choose a perpendicular line, it will be perpendicular to the line I choose, and then it will obey the snap mode. So if there is no snap mode, it just draws a perpendicular line to wherever the cursor happens to be. So those are the different uh, basic line drawing modes in Partmaster.